guys and welcome back to my channel at home with shell and to another what i eat in a day video i do make quite a lot of these videos i hope that you guys enjoy them and if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure you do so it's completely free and it really does help my channel out as if you like it as well then please give it a thumbs up that also helps um but yeah today is another sharing what i eat in a day to lose weight most of you know that i am following slimming world really trying hard to stay on track i'm going on holiday at the end of march so i feel like i've got that as a as a goal in mind and so far we're going we're going quite well i'm continuing to lose which is quite good and even more importantly i just feel a lot better in myself so today I'm actually in the office so this is what I will share when I'm having a really busy day at work as a working mum sharing what I will eat so I will include any sin values if you are following slimming world and also calories if you are calorie counting so yeah let's get into sharing with you what I eat in a day this morning for breakfast I'm going to have basically just eggs sausage and some tomato i've got these sausages left over that need eating up so i'm going to have one of these these are the skinny sausages from m s um i think i've mentioned these before i love them they are only one sin as well so they're really low in sin for sausages and of all the skinny sausages these are the best ones that i've tried so i'm just going to put one of these in the air fryer and then also put some tomatoes in the air fryer For the last few minutes or so I'm just going to pop in some tomatoes as well. My sausage and tomatoes are nearly done so I'm just going to quickly make some scrambled eggs, put some fry light in or whatever that spray oil is, whisk a couple of eggs and then Today I always have a coffee as well so I'm just going to make that now. So this breakfast is quite a good breakfast because it's fairly filling. I've got protein in the eggs, the sausage is only one sin and then tomatoes is speed and some veggies in there. So you can have ketchup or whatever if you want with it as well. I don't personally need it. So yeah, I really like this breakfast because it's really quick, easy to make. Will keep me full for ages and then won't use my healthy extra B because I will be using that for lunch. So as I mentioned, I'm in the office today, so I'm just going to prep my lunch to take with me. I'm going to have a wrap for lunch. I always have these Weight Watchers wraps. They're smaller than a normal wrap, but when you fill them, honestly, they're enough. They're fairly low in calories, so they are... Sorry, let me get them out so it's not ruffling. They're 120 calories, or they are your healthy extra B if you are following Slim World. So that's what I'm going to use it as. I'm just going to throw a few lettuce leaves in there and i've got some ham i might add a little bit of cheese as well feeling fancy so i normally get about this is just the wafer thin ham a little bit of that then I'm just going to grate a little bit of cheese over as well. I'm not going to bother weighing this out because it's hardly any. There's probably about 10 grams or something there, to be honest. I just like a little bit of cheese in the wrap. I then like to add a squeeze of some salad cream. So I use this one from Tesco. It's the 50% less fat one. I think you can get a 70% less fat one as well. So this is... I think it's around half a sin. Um, 
for a tablespoon but again come on come out so just add that on there and then this is quite a full wrap <laughs> but I want it to keep me full to stop me snacking too much And that, and then I'll normally just slice it in half, like so, and pop it into my lunch box. Um, I'm also going to take a baby bell with me, and then I've got a yogurt dip here. So this is basically, I normally make a couple of these a week. All it is, I mean, I say I make it, it's so simple. It's basically 0% fat-free yogurt with a little bit of mint sauce in it I just stir it up so it's kind of like a tzatziki and then I'm just going to do some carrots I do normally have some in the fridge but I've eaten them all for this week um so just do some like carrot batons and some red pepper to go with that as a little snack to have when I'm at work Then I'm also going to take some crisps with me. So I don't know why, but I just like to open these and put them in. So I just have these lentil crisps from, I think they're from Aldi. These are three and a half sins per pack or 71 calories if you're following Slimming World. Um, so I just pop them into my lunchbox as well. Like I said, I've got a baby bell and then I will also take an apple. I was going to slice this, but it depends when I eat it. So I'll probably just leave that and take that with me. So there we have it, there's my lunch ready. We've eaten all of our breakfast now, we've just got ready. I'm just about to take Arabella to school and then I'm going to work. Um, so yeah, I probably won't film much because I'm at work today. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and I've got a super busy day, but you've obviously already seen what I'm taking to work, to eat, and then, yeah, after work, I will catch up with you and share with you what is for dinner. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you cheeky little monkey can. So I'm back from work now. I've just gotten changed because obviously I had a dress on and I didn't really want to make the dinner in a dress. So I do also need to do a workout at some point. Um, I was going to do it when I got in, but I'm hungry, Nick's hungry. So yeah, I'm just going to make dinner and then probably do a workout this evening. Um, normally I'll try and go for a walk on my lunch break as well, but I just didn't have time today. I literally had like I managed to find 15 minutes so I just had time to eat my lunch um you saw this morning what I was taking with me for lunch I haven't had anything else since I just had my apple for a snack this afternoon and then this morning had the um like the yogurt dip and the carrots and peppers for a snack this morning and then my lunch so yeah the only other thing that I had was a cup of coffee this afternoon as well but I had that black so yeah that would be I don't know what's that like five calories or something like that um yeah so i'm about to make dinner now it's only nick and i for dinner tonight tamsin is at work and arabella has hot food at school so she's just had some you know like a wrap and some stuff for tea this evening so tonight we are having a prawn courgette spaghetti type dish um so what i when i make this i basically use some spaghetti and some courgette so i just use a spiralizer you can peel it or whatever if you want or if you just prefer to use the spaghetti and then thinly slice the courgettes in it. I just think it's a great way of getting more veg into your meals. So yeah, I'll show you all the ingredients to make that now. So as I mentioned, it is only Nick and I, so the ingredients will be for two of us. Obviously, if you're making it for four, then just double the ingredients. These are all the ingredients that you'll need to make the dish. So you can use any kind of protein that you want. I'm using prawns, but you could use chicken. Um, honestly, I'm using these because they were on offer in Tesco's and I normally try and meal plan around what's on offer. Um, a courgette, 
a shallot if you haven't got a shallot you can just use half an onion and then just dice it really thinly a couple of garlic cloves i'm also throwing in some broccoli some cherry tomatoes fresh basil leaves balsamic vinegar spaghetti i normally do around 75 grams of spaghetti per person um we use about a tablespoon of creme fraiche not that much some tomato puree and some crushed chilies and i can't remember if i said parmesan but if i didn't then a little bit of parmesan as well to start off with i'm just going to put some the spaghetti on just boil that for around eight to ten minutes in some salted water put a saucepan on a medium to high heat and then spray it with a well, it's not necessarily a saucepan but like a saute kind of frying pan spray it with some fry light and then you want to add in your shallot so all i've done here is just finely dice the shallot so i'll just put that in there and then i've also got here the basil stalks so any kind of bigger leaves or basil stalks i'm just going to fry them as well rather than let them go to waste and then also add in two garlic cloves just make sure you stir it so it doesn't burn or anything you only want to saute that for just for a couple of minutes until it softens slightly so just going to add a little bit of crushed chilli you can leave this out if you don't want it too spicy but literally just a sprinkling of some chilli flakes on there this won't take long at all to cook now i'm going to throw in the tomatoes so i've halved some of them quartered some of them and then some of them i'm going to put in whole After a couple of minutes, I'm just going to add the broccoli. So all I've done is literally cut it into tiny little florets. You don't have to add this, but I just thought it would add a little bit of extra green on it. And then meanwhile, I'm just going to add in about a tablespoon of tomato puree. That's roughly a tablespoon, I would say. Give that a good... Ooh try not to throw out the tomatoes <laughs> once the spaghetti is cooked just take that off the water so just leave it and in the water and it will still keep cooking a little bit but you don't want it kind of on anymore and then i'll use some of that water in the sauce meanwhile i'm just going to julienne a courgette so i've just got this spiralizer but you can use a you can use a vegetable peel or you can cut it really thin but honestly it's worth investing in these they're so good so i'll just let you can just see you just put it through it like this and then you get kind of like courgette spaghetti they're so good for getting extra like veggies into your diet so there we have it all of our courgette honestly this is really nice um, you, obviously if you want to make it completely like speed and not use any carbs at all then you can have all of the um, courgette but I like to kind of do a mixture of both so the sauce is looking fairly good now so all I'm going to do is add um, just some pasta water from here actually so probably around three or four tablespoons of the pasta water just to make a bit of a silkier kind of smoother sauce mix that together then i'm going to add a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar where did i put my spoon oh, i left it in there <laughs> give that a good stir going to add my prawns into the mix and now it's almost ready these only take around 
I don't know, three or four minutes just to make sure that they're completely cooked through. You can see the prawns are starting to turn pink now, so they're almost done. So I'm just going to add in the courgette into here, give it a good stir around. Mix all the courgette around like so. It doesn't take long. I mean, the courgette literally takes like a couple of minutes because it's pretty much kind of cooked. So it will just cook in the residual, residual heat even. So like I said, if you wanted to do more courgette, you could just have this as like a courgette dish. After a couple of minutes, you just want to add in the creme fraiche. So you want about a tablespoon of low fat creme fraiche. That's quite a big tablespoon. Stir that around and then this is where the sauce kind of starts to form. And then also add in 40 grams of Parmesan. So I've just grated 40 grams of Parmesan here and it's actually quite a lot. It's always a lot more when you kind of thinly grate it. So then add that in, stir it all together to make it really a nice sauce. This will then start to make a really silky sauce and then you can coat the spaghetti. Now that's all mixed through, I'm just going to add the spaghetti. mixing all the spaghetti round just soaking up all of the sauce so all I'm going to do now is just season with a little bit of salt and pepper and then it's ready to serve look at that absolutely delicious that is then to serve it just top with some freshly chopped basil leaves Let's have a try. Get a prawn in there as well. Mmm. So yummy. So what I love about this is you feel like you're getting a massive plate of food, but obviously half of the spaghetti is actually courgette, so you don't feel that bad, but it just feels quite indulgent but also light at the same time if that makes sense so yeah this comes in at only one sin if you're following slimming world i don't know the calories yet i just need to work them out but i'll put them on screen when i'm editing so i'm just going to enjoy this now at about half eight when dinner had settled i managed to get a workout in I'm currently following Courtney Black, her six week challenge. Um, I've basically downloaded it on the app, which I do kind of enjoy, I suppose, but it's definitely challenging. I'm trying to do four workouts a week and I've also started yoga after work once a week. But I personally find home workouts just much easier to fit in around my routine. it's nearly 10 o'clock now and you'll have seen that I've done my workout which I feel really good about um and then I've just made a hot chocolate as well so I always make the options hot chocolate I love it it's only 40 calories or it might even be 38 actually I can't remember but it's hardly any um or two sins if you're following slimming world so I've just used another couple of sins on that and it's just super luxurious so I'm going to sit here and drink that now um I'm actually back in the office kind of slash um dining room at the minute because I actually have a call in two minutes with our colleagues in Australia so yeah it's been a really long day really full on and 
I could probably do without this now, but um, yeah, needs must. So I'm going to drink my hot chocolate, have that cool. Um, hopefully it won't go on too long. And then after that, head up to bed. But that's all I'm eating for today. So I've just filled in my food diary as well here. I've mentioned this so many times. I'll link it in the description box down below. I fill it in at the end of every single day and it just really helps me stay on track and yeah like be accountable so i ended today on sin wise i ended on what was that eight and a half sins um on slimming world which is fairly good i think sin wise um and calorie wise ended on 1201 calories so again really low calorie day if you're in a calorie if you're trying to eat in a calorie deficit um or if you're following Slimming World, hopefully this has been useful to you. So, yeah, I really hope that it has been useful. If you have, then please do give it a thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And yeah, I will hopefully see you again next time. Bye.